The Goat, Bamboo, and Watch the Throne. Weird names, but some really dope shoes. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is Today in Sneaks. Let's start with the one that most of you are probably going to sleep on, the Reebok Pump collaboration with Foot Patrol called The Goat. Now, officially, the colors are chalk, black, and gum with a touch of flight blue on the outsole. Foot Patrol throws their gas mask logo on the lateral forefoot and their name right there on the heel, but I like the way they keep the branding really minimal. They really let the shoe shine and let the colors do all of the work. The gum accents really give this model some flair, in my opinion, and are a nice balance to the chalk upper. You can look for these to release on the 27th at select Reebok certified retailers. When it comes to the Air Max line, the Air Max 93 is not one that you see get a lot of, uh, what's the word? I'll say mentions on Twitter. Now, that is not because the model isn't dope. I just think that a lot of people haven't really seen it as much as they've seen other models. Either way, this bamboo colorway is available overseas at Atmos, which also doesn't help its cause here in the States. Now, the 93 has been showing up here and there lately, and hopefully, Nike gives this model some thought with their colorways, and they give it some love right here in the good old U.S. Finally, the LeBron 12 is about to be all that people talk about, but before we make that switch, it looks like a friends and family version of the LeBron 11 is making its rounds on the internet. A remake of the Watch the Throne theme, this time popping up on the 11 in that hyperposit. I wasn't a big fan of the original Watch the Throne theme, but this one has definitely caught my attention. There is nothing concrete about these hitting retail or anything like that as of right now, but I will say that these are pretty fresh if I say so myself. Trey Steiger, he actually posted a vid on IG showing that the way the pop it looks it almost looks like streaking stars or anything like that pretty clean would be really nice to see these make it to retail you know if someone from nike basketball is actually listening as for the question of the video actually there is well kind of, okay anyway but basically what i want to tell you is that my buddy rachel is now working with nba 2k it's going to be hosting a show called nba 2k tv it's like a tv show inside of the video game they released the trailer last week and the first show is set to air on october 7th so make sure you check that out and let me know down in the comments if you're interested in watching a show inside of a video game. As for what I'm rocking today, it is this shoe, the Air Max 93. As you can see, I was talking about it so passionately earlier. Um, I really like this colorway. This colorway looks good. I really don't have a lot of blue shoes, so this kind of goes with most of the stuff that I wear in blue. And as you see, I kind of scuffed them here a little bit. The only thing I don't like about this one, and I don't know if it's just this colorway, is um, the leather. I really wish the leather was a little better on these. But overall, I like the shape. I like the look of the shoe. And I just really think the Air Max 93 is a dope shoe. So yeah, that's what I'm rocking today. Well, if you haven't already, make sure you like favorite and subscribe that way you know whenever something awesome is happening right here on this channel i want to thank all of you guys that have been subscribing because my subscriber numbers are definitely going up and i appreciate that if you haven't visit the links down below as always i appreciate you guys i am jock slade this is today in sneaks and i'll see you soon peace the box the hex if you look at it it looks very comfortable it adds so much more flexibility to the shoe it adds more explosiveness to the shoe. It's like a shoe outside a shoe, actually. I mean, you have this part of it, and then you see the bottom.